Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So today, I'm gonna to be planting sunflowers. These are mammoth sunflowers, and they get big, and I don't want them blocking the light of all my other vegetables that I'm growing. So over here, I've got some wheat, but this is probably gonna be harvested in another month or two, and by the time these get tall, um, it'll be fine. These won't need the sunlight by then. I'm also gonna be growing corn right here, and I've actually already planted it and it's come up. And in fact, I'm doing something called a three sisters method. I'm adding sunflower, which right in this hygge culture bed, I've actually got some sunflowers as well. It's a different variety. It's not the mammoth, but I do have a couple sunflowers here as well. I'm adding sunflower to kind of add to the three sisters kind of guild thing. In fact, a lot of people talk about adding sunflowers to keep the birds off of the corn. So that way you don't have any problems with the birds eating the corn they'll come for the sunflower seeds first i don't know the timing with that i don't know if these have to be planted before the corn or after i couldn't find that info but i do like sunflowers and i like sunflower seeds and i'll be able to actually feed these sunflower seeds to my chickens so i think it's good to plant them anyway even if it's the timing is a little off even if it doesn't work with that guild um, the three sisters it's still going to be beneficial to have them so i'm going to plant them right here Here's my wheat. I'm just gonna right along this row, um, along the wheat here, just go in this direction. And, and so the sun comes up over this way, okay? And that's south directly, that direction is south. And so it should not block at least a lot of the light. Hopefully it wouldn't block all of it from the corn. Um, hopefully, I don't, I don't think it's gonna block any of it really, honestly. My property line, and right here <laughs> this is it so i'm i'm kind of close to it uh, but i can get them right pretty close i believe so i'm going to break up the dirt a little bit i don't want them growing through these weeds so if i can break up the dirt it's going to help i've got a lot of vegetation in here so we'll just break it up and make a row down here i am not going to do a whole lot of crazy tilling with this they are sunflowers. They're pretty resilient when it comes to bad and poor soil. Um, I mean, a little bit of good soil is good, of course. But I mean, you can see my soil is actually quite rich. Um, I mean, it's, it's a lot of clay, but this spot particularly has a lot of organic matter in it. Different spots in my yard are different. So and it's funny, just right there, that's mostly clay, but this spot isn't. This has a lot of organic matter. So what had happened was when I bought this house, I had a big pile of wood chips right here. Just a big pile. And now it's in the back back there. There was a big pile of wood when they cleared. They just threw the sticks and threw the trees here and it just sat. So, so that's why you see all this wood chip stuff. Um, so this is actually quite good soil. I've got a termite there, a couple termites. I mean, this was a big giant wood pile. So, do a little more tilling because some of these weeds aren't fully out. I'm gonna use the rake. That evened it out quite a bit. I'm not too worried about rocks or anything because they'll find their way. There are sunflowers after all. So every six inches, we can plant a couple seeds. We'll start, we'll start right here. This is one to two inches deep. I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of putting quite a few seeds. Just putting two in each and um, here. So we'll get two. Yeah, I'll use my hand, I don't need that other. I'm not going deep, so. And it might be a little further than six inches. It's about eight, actually, I'm planting, so. No biggie. I just won't get as many. I'm not going super scientific with this, guys. It's just placing seeds. 
Now, it recently rained, so I don't think I'm going to water them. Pretty wet soil already. Uh, it's moist. It's not, like, sopping wet. It might be a good idea tomorrow to come in and give it a water, but there we go. So I'll bring you guys back in probably about a week once these start to sprout and you can see them coming and then of course i'll keep you guys updated as they grow so finally we've got these sprouted up in fact they've been up for probably two to three weeks i haven't had a chance to come out here and do a video on these now i need to weed around here i've got a bunch of weeds popping up i don't come back here very often it's hidden by these so i don't even notice it but i need to come through and weed it but you can see i've already got a bunch of true leaves here three sets on a lot of these and they're doing really well so i've got two growing out of here i need to start pulling some of these back we'll keep the best starts we don't need two in each hole same thing goes here and then here as well and so you can just pinch them back and not all of them came up guys i've got a couple holes here in fact I'm missing two over here. There's one missing right there. This one came up, tried, but it didn't do very well. Um, missing another one there. So there's a couple of them missing, but I still got quite a few. So I got 11 here that have come up. And so that should be pretty good. I mean, that's, that's quite a few sunflowers. They'll come up right here and kind of will surround the corn, which is going to keep the birds going for the sunflower seeds rather than the corn. At least that's the hope. I've also got these sunflowers here. Now I've got a big hole here. All these ones seem to not make it. So I don't know if that has to do with how the sun was hitting or not, but a whole bunch here that never made it. But these are doing fine, um, all these. So these are the black oil sunflower. Over there was the mammoth sunflower. So I'll bring you guys back again once these start flowering. I'll see you guys soon.